Hey, Tim's Workshop. Hey, uh, today I'm going to do a video on uh, part three of the small boat boat loader into the uh, back of the truck. Um, the reason I'm doing part three is because uh, it's been an evolution as to which is the best way to load it and the quickest way. So now I've come up with the, uh, the final, I believe, that will uh, uh, be the best way of doing this. Uh, rather than having a trailer and license a trailer, you know, for a small boat, you just want to get it in your truck and go. So this is what I came up with. So what I got, I have a bar across the top and I got it uh, anchored into the, uh, the post holes on the truck. I have a pulley here that I put the open pulley. And I put the cable in and take the cable out, of course. Uh, I have it hooked to the uh, hook spot on the boat. So let's, uh, I took the tailgate completely off. And uh, all we want to do is get this up so it's right here, ready to load. And then uh, the rest is just pushing it on there. All right. So let's lift it up. Put something behind the wheel. Piece of wood will work. Let some of the tension off. All right. Leave the cable on. We're going to pull it in a bit more. Push it in. Okay, yeah, it sticks out of ways put a little flag on it. I have a, a strap that'll strap it across the back over the other side and that locks it in and uh, then I have two straps that I put across the bow of it in case it lifts up. That'll keep it from lifting up and then uh, I'll put the motor motor on the back of the boat for hauling up there uh, I have to take the, you know, from the angle, I have to take the motor off and then put it back on up there, which is no big deal, but uh, you have to be careful on how you, uh, you put that motor. If you put it on the wrong side, the oil is going to get in it and it's, uh, it'll damage the motor because it's a four-stroke motor. Uh, but if I put it here and keep it upright on the way up there, it'll be fine. I just, uh, when I go to load it into the water, uh, I might be able to tilt it up and uh, see how that works. In fact, I'll do that here just to check it. If it works, then uh, I won't. I could just put the motor on and leave it on for the entire trip and launching it and taking it out of the water too. Hey, it works. Yeah, there's plenty of clearance. So. Uh, That'll work. Buddy, get out of the way. Okay. Got it up where the, the cable's uh, tight. Now we just uh, let it down.
Yeah, a little, a little more. There we go. The reason I got this string on here is because when you uh, wind it back up, it'll come off the track. So you've got to keep tension on this thing in order for it not to get all tangled up. That's it. So if you like the video, please subscribe, leave comments, uh, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.